Hey everybody, you're looking at Howard the Duck, yeah, Howard the Duck, number two, from Marvel Comics, trapped in a world he never made, Howard the Duck, yeah, number two, uh, I got it today just because, why not, it just looked pretty cool, it wasn't bad, actually, local comic shop here had some really good bargains and flushed in a bunch of new back issues, and this was one of them. And I looked at it, and I was like, you know, why not? It just looked pretty fun. And I think Howard the Duck, he made he made an appearance in the ending credits of Help Me Out Here. Maybe it was Guardians of the Galaxy. I think he's going to have a resurgence. I think Howard the Duck is going to be something that that's going to attract people. But it's not just Howard the Duck I want to talk about. I got some other issues today. I got some other other books, I should say, today. Um, the first one that I got is... The, and they're all from my childhood, and I want to share them with everybody. Um, right here. This was from my childhood. I remember having this. G.I. Joe. That storm shadow with the katana coming down on the question mark head. I remember having this as a child. I remember having this because it was G.I. Joe. I didn't have it because it was a comic book at the time. I had it because it was G.I. Joe. Um, I enjoyed I don't know the story anymore. I think the question mark head... I think the question mark head is supposed to be Snake Eyes. I'm not sure. I remember in the book it's like training. Like I, I haven't opened the book yet. I haven't even read it. I, I read it as a child, but um, I think it's... Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes training. Could be wrong, don't remember it completely, but it was a slice of my childhood back at me. And it all and there was also this one, which I also had as a child. I don't have to say anything more about that. <laughs> There's Snake Eyes and Storm Shadow. It doesn't get better than that. That cover is well worth the three dollars that I paid for it. It was really a nice little find. It was something from my childhood as well. I mean, this is a book in my childhood that I crumpled up in a ball or in a circle and hauled it around in a circle. Now it's in a nice bag. Um, so I got those two, that Howard the Duck and these two G.I. Joes. There was one that is that is the Holy Grail, the White Buffalo, if you will, of comics. The comic that got me into collecting, the comic that opened my eyes to collecting, and the story behind it is, um, I rode, I rode the bus to school, and there was one one kid that that I remember. I'd call him a friend. I, I haven't talked to him in years and years and years and years and years. This is childhood, riding the bus to school. He showed me comic books, and he showed me this comic book, not this one, but this issue. And I have searched for this issue. I have searched for this issue for years and years and years. And I have never found it. It is this issue. Just looking at that cover just is amazing. Incredible Hulk number 340. From 1977. Or 19... <laughs> 1987. Sorry, 1987. That is the book that opened up my eyes to comic books. I have never been able to own this book. Um, going back to my story, I, I rode the bus to school, sat with a friend, a, 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 a schoolmate, and he showed me comic books. And he showed me this one. And I... I remember seeing it in 1987. I don't even know how old I was at the time. Obviously, I was in I think elementary, not elementary or grades, or or uh, right before high school, elementary school. Um, and this cover has always been in my life, in my in my mind's eye. It's Todd McFarlane. It got me into Todd McFarlane. I mean, I can I've got I've got every Spawn issue. He's that's ever been made. I've got many Spider-Mans of Todd McFarlane. I have never had Incredible Hulk number 340. I have it now. And I'm happy. It's um, 
It it's the white buffalo. It's the holy grail. It's the it's the piece that I've been missing and in my collection, and it is there. Yeah. So books from my childhood. Yeah, these these GI Joes I had. Um, it's fun to kind of think about them. You know, I had these as as a child. But Hulk number 340, that is the book that got me into collecting. I remember on the bus him showing me this book, and we'd, I'd thumb through it, and I was just amazed at the art. I didn't, I don't, didn't know what the story is. I, I'm going to read it as a blank slate tonight, and um, it is just, I'm excited. So that's my little uh, story for the day of comic books, and... Um, I hope I hope you've seen something a little different. So, hope everyone's doing good and talk to you later.